The show on back with part four. All right, Edom's still here. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. This is Revelation 17. All right, and upon a forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. Okay, one of the many titles that she goes under. All right, America, Babylon the Great, you know, the Edomites. All right, uh, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. All right, those would be the Israelites, both northern and southern kingdom. Okay, and as you read in Daniel chapter 7, that uh, he would wear out the saints. Okay, uh, and we'll get to that. We'll run over there when we get over to Daniel chapter 7. And with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai, okay, and when I saw her, right, the whore, America, Babylon the Great, Mystery, Babylon the Great, all right, I wondered with great admiration, all right, and the angel said unto me, wherefore did thou marvel? And I will tell thee the mystery of the woman, the whore, America, Babylon the Great, and the beast, right, the Edomite beast system, which goes back to the Greco-Roman empires, all right, because that's when the Edomites first came into power as the third beast, the Greco-Roman Empire. Uh, they morphed into the fourth beast, the Roman Empire, right? They're neither, okay? Just like they're not Europeans, because that was all prophetic people. But again, going back to Alexander the Great, all right? And his father, King Philip the Macedonian, they conquered all of Europe, okay? And they called themselves by the lands they conquered, Psalms 49 11. Go read it for yourselves, okay? So anyway, and, uh, and the beast that carried her, that beast is talking about the EU, NATO, okay? The EU nations and NATO. That's the beast. The beast is NATO. The EU is the ten horns, which is going to mention in a moment here. So, and the beast that carried her, that's NATO, the military arm, all right, of the Edomites, which have seven heads and ten horns. Okay, and the ten horns represent the EU nations. All right, and uh, you know if you go back, you know to uh, if you go back to the uh, the time of the Roman Empire, they were known as vassal states. All right, there were the Franks, the Burgundians, the Suvi, the Vandals, the Visigoths, Saxon, the Ostrogoths, the Lombards, the Hercules, and the Huns. All right, modern day, you know, they're supposed to be, I believe now, 28, 29 nations, but those nations were broken up. That's why you have that. Basically, you still have the 10 nations. All right, anyway, the beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. The bottomless pit is Europe and go into perdition. See that? That, again, is another clue. If you're reading Thessalonians 2 and 3, and then shall that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, talking about Esau, all right, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. You understand that, people? And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life, all right? And the only ones that are written in the book of life would be the elect of Israel, okay? And that they were chosen from the beginning, before the foundation of the world, before the world began. That's who the Lord is coming back for. All right, the first fruits. Okay, they're also known as the first fruits. All right. And when they behold the beast that was, is not, and yet is. And who is that? Well, that would be none other than the Roman Empire. All right, and you can say Greco Roman Empire because, again, it's Edomites. All right, but it's really just the last leg and extension of the revived Roman Empire, represented by America, Babylon the Great. NATO and the EU, okay? It's that simple, all right? And we're going to prove that to you in a moment to give you further understanding, all right? I'll take you to a picture and prove that to you. But first, we're going to get to the uh, the parable of it, all right? So here is wisdom. Here is the mind which have wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains. Mountains represents government, nation, kingdoms, on which the woman sitteth, all right? And there are seven kings right seven kingdoms okay what are the seven kingdoms germania major germania minor the greeks the french the spanish right 
uh, Greeks, the French, the Spanish, and the British. All right, but now five have fallen. Which are the five that have fallen? Okay, and that'll be Germain, your major, Germain, your minor, the Greeks, the French, the Spanish, right? In the Roman Empire. Those are the five fallen. Okay. Uh, one is, one is, is the Roman Empire, right? And the other is yet to come would be the British Empire. Okay. So again, the five that have fallen, Germania Major, Germania Minor, the Greeks, the French, and the Spanish. Those are your five fallen kingdoms. The one that is, is the Roman Empire. Again, during the time John the Revelator wrote the book of Revelation that the angel came out to him, he was in, you know, the salt mines. Okay? And uh, so that he was a political prisoner to the Edomites through the Roman Empire. All right? On the island of Patmos. All right. And the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. That would be the British Empire. So there are your seven kingdoms, okay? All right? Giving you the five that fall and the one that is and the one that would come after the Roman Empire, which would be the British, Britannia, okay? So, and the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven. So the eighth head, would come out of the seven. It, it would come out of the British Empire. Who came out of the British Empire? How was America started? Yeah, 13 British colonies, was it not? Yes. There you go, people. All right. And it took down three, right? Three other uh, uh, horns were plucked up, which would be what? You know, the French, the Spanish, right? French-American War, the Spanish-American War, right? And the British-American War, right? For its independence, right? Which, in reality, wasn't really real because really America is just simply, um, you know, really an extension of the British Empire, okay? Okay, you never, you, you never really got your freedom, all right? So these people here, they, you know, it's it's a game, it's an illusion that has been played upon you. America's a corporation, okay? It's founded as a republic, all right, with the promise of it being a democracy. America never became a democracy, all right? Nothing has ruled here but capitalism, okay? All right? So, and the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seventh, and goeth where? Into perdition, into destruction. That's America. That's not talking about Jab. That's talking about Esau, Edom, the Edomite. Now, let's go to Daniel. All right, give me a minute. Now, if you read up above, you know, verse 8, it'll give you the breakdown of the four, you know, beast. All right, the previous kingdoms, you know, the Babylonian, Medo-Persian, all right, the Greeks and the Romans. All right, be the fourth final beast. Now, let's pick it up here. And I considered the horns, right, all the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn. That's America, Babylon the Great. Before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. Again, all right, that would be Spain, that would be the French, and the British. Those would be the three first horns that were plucked up, right? Beaten in combat, right? Okay. And that's because he was more stout than the rest of his Edomite fellows. All right. So now let's get down here to, uh, uh, I believe, 725. See? Okay. Okay, and you see here the ten horns out of this kingdom. Again, the EU nations. You see, so it's talking about Esau, the Edomites. All right, a ten king shall arise, and another shall rise after them. 
and he shall be the worst as the first. Again, talking about America, Babylon the Great, that comes out of the British Empire. And he shall subdue the three kings. All right, and again, I've already told you who they are. All right, okay. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, that would be blasphemy, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, who are the Israelites, you Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? And think to change times and laws, right? His draconian laws, right? Meaning harsh and severe, okay? His unrighteous decrees, okay? Rex 84, the King Alfred plan, Project Megiddo. They shall be given into his hand until a time and times and dividing of times. See that? All right, let's get back. Okay. So there you have it, people. This There's the answer to your parable. Let's show you the picture. Give me a minute. All right, people. You see this picture here? The beast with seven heads and ten horns. All right. The five fallen kingdoms. See, Germania Major there. Germania Minor, right? See the French and the Spanish, right? Okay. And you see the Greeks. Those are your five fallen kingdoms. You see the Greeks, right? And then the one that is, during the time of John the Revelator, wrote the book of Revelations, the Roman Empire. See the Romans there? Right there. Okay. That's six. Then, all right, and then you would have one would come and he must continue a short space, right? Right there, the British Empire, okay, Britannia, all right? So, and who comes out of that? Who becomes the eighth head of the Edomite beast system? The one that's sitting, riding the beast, America, Babylon the Great, and you see her holding a golden cup in her hand. There you go, people. Has nothing to do with Japheth. You cannot link Japheth up to this. No way in hell. There you go. All right? There it is, people, right in your faces. Okay, give me a minute. All right, this is Obadiah 1 and 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? And how are his hidden things sought up? Well, through the scriptures, people, also, it's all over in circular history as well. All right? So there's no getting away from that. We're down to 15th verse. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, all right, in particular Esau, right? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Give me a minute. This is Psalm 716. His mischief shall return upon his own head. See that? And his violent dealing shall calm down upon his own plate, meaning his own head. Give me a minute. This is Revelations 18 and 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone, which would be a metaphor for the ICBMs, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city, Babylon, which is a.k.a. America, Babylon the Great, be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And again, you know, as you read in Jeremiah 49, you know, that you know, Babylon shall be destroyed uh, as in Sodom and Gomorrah, which was, you know, through fire and brimstone. Well, you know, uh, you have to understand that Babylon was not ever destroyed by fire and brimstone or anything, and it's not uninhabitable. It's habitable. All right? That would be modern-day Iraq. So you see, it's not talking about ancient Babylon, Okay. It's not talking about during the time of Nimrod or Neo or Babylon, okay? It's not talking about those times. It's talking about the third Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, all right? As you read in Psalms 137, all right, 7 through 9, okay? It will tell you, remember, you know, uh, Edom. Remember the daughter of Babylon, okay? Matter of fact, give me a minute, all right? I'll take us there, but let me finish this first. All right, so thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, it shall be found no more at all. All right, give me a minute. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, and the day of Jerusalem who said, raise it, raise it, means burn it, burn it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, see, who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou served up. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes the little ones 
against the Stones. <laughs> Remember that? All right? Give me a minute. All right, to close out, 49, Jeremiah 49, 17, 18. Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by shall be astonished and shall hate us at all the plagues thereof. And as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord Yahweh, no man shall abide there, neither shall the Son of Man dwell in it. I'm out. I'm out to the next one. Shalom.